Well, my plans for the weekend have been thwarted. It's a new word I learned. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna be making the trip uh, downstate to the Farming Bikers Mystery Ride. And uh, to do so, I need to go do a couple of things first. Uh, I'm completely out of gas, but I think I'm gonna put on my tour pack. Um, just so I have a little bit of a backrest on the trip over. So yeah, let's do that. Cool, it's starting to rain. Just in time. <sighs> All right, so I don't know if I went over this in a previous video or not. I bought this guy right here um, a while back, like two years ago. And I got it off of old buddy Bezos. It was cheap. It was like $65. And uh, it's it's well made. I mean, it's sturdy. It looks good, you know. But the problem is, even though I double and triple checked it, this ain't made for my bike. Like this here. So I ended up having to um, bend the living hell out of it with the old mallet here to make it fit because I was hellbound on making this fit. So uh, if you look at it, you can kind of see I bent the shit out of this guy. And uh, now the only way to get it off <laughs> or on is to take this guy off. Actually, not that one. Take this guy off. Take the bag off, unscrew this, pull that out, unclip it, do the whole thing, put it back on, then I can put my tour pack on. So a man with uh, lesser pride than me would uh, just order a new one of these, but it was already w wrong once, right? And uh, for the money, it's it's fine. It's worth a little bit of headache. Ain't like I'm doing an emergency, you know, like I got to put this on real quick or my family's going to explode. Or maybe there will be a situation like that someday. But and the reason I put it on is because I got the saddle and seat. And even the other stock seat, I just didn't like how, you know, it just goes, boop, abrupt end. And I got a really shitty fender. So let's do that. And uh, boom, a few uh, cuss words. And it's on. There, there, it's a, there it is. Bam. Bam. Not too bad. I just have these huge hands. So the hardest part about this is, uh, hang on. All right. The hardest part is getting my big mitts down here to work that. But I got those, I got those skills. But yeah, that's ready. We got fuel. Put the saddlebag back on. And uh, Charlie, what are you doing? and uh, go dry off. So we'll see you guys in the morning as we're heading down to Lennon, Michigan for the Farming Bikers uh, mystery ride. It's the only thing I know about it. It's at the Victory Biker Church off of Miller Road, which is just down the road where my mama lived for a while. So um, we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, I lied. It's still like five seconds after I did that outro for tomorrow. It is raining man Woo! anyways i had some uh dms private messages and stuff about this hat i got i wore in one of my videos the uh clive's ride video um this is a uh, blockhead moto if you guys follow me but you don't follow blockhead um there's something wrong with you <laughs> um definitely go check out his he is like a five hundred thousand subscriber so he's a big youtuber um been following him for a very long time and uh he had a cool hat and these are kind of badass i like the old vintage style hats my my dad would wear these style hats all the time so i got the latest harley one that came out and i got this so i'll put a link down below for his stuff but uh yeah kind of cool all right anyways now for real we'll see you tomorrow morning it is the crack of dawn um 5 45 right now sun's coming up i've been up since uh 4 45 ish when the puppy little maggie decided to uh she wanted to party so big puppy energy is a big 
real thick in this house. There we go. Let's sneak out of the garage here without waking up the neighborhood. My daughter, God bless her, likes to leave the old man plenty of room to pass the bike out. Jeez. And uh, my neighbor girl's gonna hate me. My kid's bedroom's right there. And he came over the other day complaining about my bike. <laughs> it's just so loud. Get used to it, kid. I forgot my leather. Son of a bitch. Okay, round two. Well, we made it to our journey. We're literally I live over there, but we're meeting up here. I don't want to wake up all my neighbors. So brother Mook's on his way and Thomas. So here we are meeting up here at the Fresh Coast Market. And uh, like I talked about in other videos, can't really see it from here because of the trees, but right over there is the famous Moomer's ice cream. This place will be packed full just for, uh, for ice cream. Weird. Look who's here. Mr. Thomas. Nice. Now he's got to wait for Mook. He should be coming from that way. Look who's late. The second closest person here. I'm late, I know. He drove like five times the distance. I know. And he got gas. Yeah. And he came from this way for some reason. Okay, so we made it down here to the Victory Biker Church in Lennon, Michigan. It is really, really cool. Um, I'm not going to show you the inside, just out of, out of respect for the church, but they provided us coffee, we got milk, got OJ, donuts, it's a nice spot. And we got people riding in, so it's going to be a good day of riding, good day of uh, brotherhood and hanging out and uh, getting to learn a little bit about what these guys do here. So we'll talk to you really soon. All right, so we are getting ready to head out. We got, uh, of course, Farming Biker and Miss Stacy leading the way. Got Thomas here too. We gotta get a road name for Thomas. Yeah. I want you guys to come up with a cool road name for Mr. Thomas, so. 
we'll uh we'll let the the youtube fans pick out the road name for thomas <laughs> or about that uh, he's a good dude man he's a veteran as well so um very happy to have uh, connected with mr thomas and, and everything he does so we got a lot of stuff here though we got gary gary's actually a uh a subscriber to the channel whole lot of good looking bikes here today Ooh, got an Indian. I think it's our first Indian of the day. Nice. Look who I found. Hey, what's Riding, going on, Brandon buddy? Here. How's it going? Yeah, so we are here again at the uh, Farming Bikers Mystery Ride at the Vickery, Vickery Biker Church. I'm doing everything off my phone because I'm too lazy to walk over to get my GoPro, but uh, we got quite the turnout. So, again, make sure you uh, check this guy out. He has a podcast and a YouTube channel as well. So it's all kind of intermixed. It's really good. So um, check them out. And uh, again, we'll see you guys here very soon. We are going to run blockers, but we're going to do next man up blockers. So you block an intersection, fall back to the back, no racing to the front. We've only got six intersections that possibly need blockers. Most of this is backcountry roads. So there's actually two four-way stops that... It's going to be a crapshoot if there's even going to be a car there. So just roll through with me. But other than that, I really do appreciate you guys coming out. We're going to ride just the speed limit, no racing, nothing. We're just going to take our time and enjoy the ride. So, Pastor? Yes. Now, before we leave, I'd like to do a just a biker blessing. We, we, we pray over the biker, but we will go through. So chaplains, BBC chaplains. Uh, please go through and just pray over the bikes and the biker, you know, before we leave. We, I know we got about 15 minutes, but uh, we got some others pulling in right here, so we'll hang on. But you know what? The biggest thing that I want you to know is that God loves you. God loves bikers too, Woo! right? You are not kicked to the curb. God loves you, and that's why Victory Biker Church is here. So I, I just do a blanket invite if you're looking for a church home that welcomes bikers. We are bikers, and we love you because God loves you. Uh, so come on out Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. is our church service. So uh, I'd like to go ahead and do a biker blessing right now. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this wonderful day. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for this group of beautiful, lovely people that we call bikers. Father, we thank you for them, and we bless them. Father, may your hand be upon each and every rider. Father, as we ride today, Father God, may all the, the critters stay in the ditches, Father. May every car rider, truck driver uh, uh, see us and give us a wide berth. Father, we ask that your angels would go before us and around behind us and in each side. And Father, we thank you for it. Lord, bless this day, bless this ride, and bless these bikers for an entire year, Lord God, of a wonderful riding season. Father God, we love you and we love each other, Father. I bless these brothers and sisters, and I thank you, Father, for it. God, bless this day, and bless us, Lord God, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You heard it. Actually, the first block is gonna be a busy intersection. Why don't we have uh, Boop come up next to me? Yeah. We'll hey, Boop. We're taking off, baby. Time to ride.
right, so we are here at Snappers on the water. And uh, there's a whole lot of iron here, man. It's really cool. So um, again, second annual Farming Biker Mystery Ride. The mystery's over, but uh, this is really cool. So definitely something we will be doing every single year. Um, and the people at the Victory Biker Church, man, are just absolutely wonderful. So super happy to, uh, to take this opportunity to do this. I almost didn't do this today, and uh, thankfully I did. So, all right, we'll see you inside. <laughs> He's out here pimping tickets. I need some giveaway stuff. Pretty neat. I'm hungry though, so I think Robbie want wings. All right, so I ordered wings. I was unaware they were full I watched turkeys. that at West Branch. They had rings that they tossed over. I'm just trying yeah. to figure they see how it goes. I'm a big boy, so I'm being very careful out here. Pretty cool place, man. Really good food. The wings were excellent. Look at that. Now, being a child of the 80s and watching cartoons, there should be frogs on there, but there's not. All right, we're going to hit the road, head back north. Maybe uh, swing by Vehicle City. We'll see. You never know who you're going to run into when you're out on rides. So this is Mr. Roland. This is Boomers on Two Wheels. Boomers on Two Wheels. We just met today, and uh, really good guy. You guys need to uh, go check out their channel. It's him and his wife. They do all sorts of really cool stuff. Not just all motorcycle related, right. but it all kind of goes back into the thing. So Anything we find that's fun to do, we bring you guys along. That's awesome, man. This is the best part about doing rides like this. When you're taking a chance, you're just not stuck in your little, you know, your, your box. Go outside your box, you get to meet awesome people like this. So we'll see you guys. We're gonna hit the road, head back to Traverse City, but uh we'll talk to you soon. Morning. See what I did there? I got the hat, and that was never mind. Anyways, I was editing the video today, and it's uh I edited it down from over an hour <laughs> down to about 20 minutes. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself because I usually forget to film anything when I'm having fun and talking to people and doing stuff, but um I'm going to make this a two-part video because after the ride, we did some other stuff. But um, I just wanted to say thank you to uh, the farming biker, Bryce and Stacy. Um, that was a really, really cool experience. It was well worth the three-and-a-half-hour uh, ride down um, through the rain and all that stuff. It was it was really cool. Um, not just the ride itself. The ride's awesome. But just all the people that were there and the uh, you know being able to, to see some people that subscribe to my channel as well. Um, and get to meet them and talk to them in person and and just meet new people you know it was just really cool so um that's my favorite part about you know the motorcycle community and what we do is just uh being able to go out there and meet new people and um you know just ride and have fun it doesn't matter your background your color religion all that bs just about the brotherhood of being together and uh it was really cool so um thank you guys i appreciate it Hopefully there's a Mystery Ride 3 next year, because uh, I'll definitely be down for that one. But uh, again, we'll talk to you guys very soon. As always, remember, ride with purpose. We'll see you next time. Bye.